Hello, my friends, and welcome to Lean and Clean with Fitness Chef Christine. I am Christine, your host, and I am coming to you today just filled with gratitude. Filled with gratitude for all of you who listen. Take the time to comment and rate our show and interact with me and who have joined my free group on Facebook, which is called Menopause Macros and Movement. And I also lean and clean with fitness chef christine my other free group i just want to say how much i very much appreciate you and i thought it would be nice if i read some of your reviews so the first one i'm going to read is by kdia g says finally with exclamation points i was on keto for a month and tried intermittent fasting off and on with keto i gained weight and intermittent fasting i felt sick and dizzy and had so many problems with my cycle I have been searching for someone to explain menopause and perimenopausal women should avoid these types of diets. Christine is informative and knowledgeable on the subjects of health and dieting. Thank you so much. I hope that I lead you to good health, that we really focus on our 90-year-old self, not the quick fix, but the long-term health benefits. It's so important for us not to look at that scale and think we need to change that immediately. What we really need to change is our insides, our mindset, and the long-term health that we're going after. Let me read another one here. This one is from M-S-O-N-G-D-O. Christine is so fun and fresh. Her episodes are vibrant as she is and packed full of value. Thank you so much. I really try to bring on various coaches and experts so that we have a wide range of topics and so that we can better serve you. If it's only me, you have my expertise only in certain subjects. But if I bring on other people that have different perspectives or different areas of expertise, my hope is that you will connect with someone and really get the help that you might need. And I always learn something from everybody that I have on. So that in turn makes it great for me as well. Let me read another one from gal girl 11 it says i love how this shows gives me tangible tips makes a step i need to be healthier so easy to follow and adapt into my lifestyle that my friends is my goal i want to make your changes as easy as possible we overcomplicate fat loss and we overcomplicate health so much it's as easy as getting back to eating real food and not worrying about every little calorie and not worrying about every little step. You don't have to be perfect. We're just trying to go for progress. I really want you to think about getting adequate protein, drinking all your water, so fueling and hydrating your body. Keep it moving because we really want to have all that movement during menopause. We tend to slow down and we think it's because menopause is setting in that we've gained the weight. But really, it's mostly just us slowing down. So if we can keep super active, we can offset that. And I'm not talking about active as in exercise all the time. I'm just saying, try not to sit down as much. So maybe you park further away. Maybe you take the stairs when the elevator could have been an option. I do encourage you to walk out in nature all the time because it is such a good and healing thing to do. So it's not just about exercise, but it's also about being mentally healthy. I'm going to read one more because it's so everybody to 